listen to that. They're, they're, they're feeding right here next to the seed wall. Uh-oh, he's going for the bridge. Hey, good morning fishing friends. JC here with Rad Reeling. Came down here this morning. There's tons of seaweed in the water. But uh, anyway, I've hooked up with a couple of fish already. I'm gonna show you some footage from yesterday too. And uh, anyway, I got more fishing to do. Hopefully I'll catch some more fish here. So let's see what happens. Oh my God. Oh my God. He was just chasing it, had seaweed on it. Oh, that's a big snook. <laughs> Listen to that. They're, they're, they're feeding right here next to the seed wall. Uh-oh, he's going for the bridge. Come back here, big guy. Oh my God, it's a big fish. Where is he? I wish he'd freaking come up. I hope this isn't a big jack, man. He's kind of pulling like a jack. I think a snook would already came to the top of the water. Boy, he just popped that thing so hard. This is a really big fish. I haven't, can't get a look at him though. Come up. It's a big jack, big jack. Look at the size of that jack, man. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Okay, got a quick tackle tip here. This is my aerator. Um, I've used this thing for a couple weeks now with the same batteries, and uh, I haven't taken it out and washed it. So uh, here's a tip. You should probably take the batteries out every time you use it and uh, rinse it off, but I didn't, but we're gonna do this anyway. Um, take time to just rinse it off with fresh water. After you do that, you wanna dry it off really good. Once everything's dry, just give it a shot of your favorite lubricant. I'm using WD-40. And that's it. That'll extend the life of your aerator a long time. The pump will wear out before the battery connections do. Well, something struck at it right there. Unfortunately, the lure was tangled and had grass on it, but he was after it. And let's see if we can get him to hit it. There he is. Ah, snook. Nice. Good snook, too. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You are not going over there, big guy. Good fish. Really good fish. Nope, he is officially 24 inches. See you later, big guy. Hey, look at that catch. <laughs> Biggest catch of the day there.
I got a good laugh too. I took the picture. <laughs> There he is. There he is. Right there. Ah. Grouper. A grouper. Look at that. Woo. Man, he popped that thing. Good too, man. On a jig. There he is. That's a little one. Take him. Still a fish, right? Snook time, baby. Snook time. That's what I'm talking about. Another seawall snook. There he is. Ah, nice. Very nice. Little guy. Ah, yeah. Another grouper. Uh, grouper. Grouper, nice. Yeah, he's not big enough. Oh, you got thrown back? Yeah, they got to be 26 inches, I think. Man, there's no way this guy was coming off. All right, see you, guy. This is what it looks like when I fish. Stuff's thrown all over the place. Hey, when the bite's on, man, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? There he is, another fish. Yeah, it's a good one. Of course, every time I hook a fish, it's a good one. Are you kidding, another grouper? Oh my God. <laughs> Man, I am just like grouper crazy this morning. Holy crap. On artificial, another one, very nice. Another grouper, man. Crazy. All right, see you later, big guy. Hey guys, so that's my fourth trip fishing now. And uh, you've seen clips from two of my fishing trips. Oh, on every trip I've had some kind of activity the uh, other morning, man. Oh my gosh, I hooked a huge snook. But anyway, I'm glad I got some footage put together for you guys. It's uh. It really takes a lot of work sometimes to get out here and catch these fish, but it's so much fun. So you know what I always say, don't just sit there, get out and go fishing, start living your life. Hey, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Thumbs up are always appreciated, and uh, I'll see you guys soon.